Jinja is a bustling little city in eastern Uganda that has quickly risen to become the adrenaline capital of East Africa and the second busiest commercial center in the country after the capital of Kampala. Before its establishment in 1907, Jinja was primarily a fishing village that benefited from its unique location along long-distance trade routes. Today, Jinja is best known for its location on Lake Victoria at the source of the Nile, Africa's longest river and a symbol of life for all the countries it travels through before reaching Egypt. The name Jinja comes from the language of the two tribes, the Basoga and the Baganda, that reside on either sides of River Nile. In both languages, Jinja means rock, referring to the city's standing position along the shores of Lake Victoria at the foundation of the river, an address that attracts visitors near and far for some of the best white water rafting and adventurous recreation on the continent. Jinja is the third most popular and visited town in Uganda, after Kampala and Entebbe. Jinja has of recent become a weekend getaway and attracts revelers from Kampala and beyond. Jinja also hosts a number of tourism attractions and events that draw tourists and revelers from across the globe. Jinja was the first place in Uganda to get a post office in 1906. The post office was an idea of Haj Soleiman Tamak, an Indian settler who proposed to the British to set up one. However, he ended up finding it himself after the British claimed it wasn't viable at the time and couldn't start up one. Although the Owen Falls hydroelectric dam was built in 1954, by 1934, Jinja had electricity. A thermoelectricity plant was constructed by the British colonial government to power cotton mills in Chirinya. Chirinya is now home to Jinja's largest prison. Jinja was the second town to be granted municipality status in 1956 after Kampala and was the municipality for 64 years until it was granted city status in July 2020. Jinja is considered to be the most organized town in Uganda in terms of its urban layout and infrastructure. Jinja municipality plan was initially drawn up by A.E. Mirams in 1930. However, a new design and layout was later planned in 1948 by Ernest May, the German architect and urban planner. Estates were built for the ruling elite outside the center of the city, which came to be dominated by the Asian business class as Africans were resettled far away. There was a separate space for industries, residential areas, and commercial space. Jinja is the only city in Uganda with a cable state bridge and the second in East Africa after the Chigamboni Bridge in Tanzania. The bridge was commissioned on 17th October 2018. Jinja was the first place in Uganda to be connected to the hydroelectric power grid in 1954 after the completion of the Owen Falls Dam. This attracted a number of factories that would transform Jinja into a major industrial town. The first major factories were Nyanza Textile, currently known as Nitil, Nail Breweries, Maoko Textile, Chillington Factory, and the Copper Smelting Factory. Queen Elizabeth II stayed in Jinja on her maiden visit to Uganda in 1954 at the now defunct Ripon Hotel. She had come to commission the newly built Owen Falls Dam, the first hydroelectric power station in Uganda. The hugely popular Jinja Agriculture Show started in 1977 during the Amin regime. However, the shows later resumed in 1993. As soon as possible, Jinja will be producing electric cars. This is because of the existence of Kira Motors EV factories, which is under construction in the Jinja industrial area in Motai. 
The two largest bridges in Uganda are found in Jinja, that is, the Owen Falls Dam Bridge, which was completed in 1954, and the source of the Nail Bridge, completed in 2018. Currently, Jinja has one TV station, that is Baba TV. Two stations, including NBS TV and Kodeo TV, were previously based in Jinja. NBS relocated to Kampala and Kodeo TV collapsed. However, Kodeo TV was also later on rebranded to Smart24. Visiting the source of the Nile While most visitors to Jinja will experience the most ferocious sections of the Nile on a rafting trip, it's also worth checking out the little stream where the river begins. The source of the Nile has been a topic of dispute. Colonial European explorers sent the better part of the 19th century tramping all over East Africa and Southern Africa in search of it, encountering many false positives along the way. Today, multiple sources of the river are acknowledged, but one of them is in Jinja. A visit here is more about the historical and atmosphere than about the site itself being amazing, but it's an essential pilgrimage for anyone traveling in Africa and one of the most popular places to visit in Jinja. Both the Nile River and Lake Bujagali are theoretically free from bilhazia, hippos and crocodiles. So don't be nervous when you raft or swim. If you are continuing to Kenya, you don't need to double back to Kampala. The night buses to Nairobi pass through Jinja and you can get a last minute seat. Those are some of the amazing facts about Jinja. Kindly consider subscribing to this YouTube channel, leave a comment, like and share with your friends.